Today, in this video, I will show you the perfect house plants for people who are Today in this video I will show you a few house plants that are for either people who are too busy or maybe just too lazy for high maintenance plants. So if you work a lot, you travel a lot, or you just want plants in your space and part of your decor, but you want something that's easy to maintain, a plant that's not high maintenance. I'm going to go through five plants. With all these plants I'm going to let you know the type of plant the lighting, the watering, and how often you would have to repot it. So the first plant I have is a pothos. Pothos plants are extremely low maintenance, the easiest plant you can honestly take care of. As you can see, there are many varieties of a pothos. I have two types of pothos. This is your traditional green pothos. I feel like everyone has seen these before. And then you have I have here a blend. It's a lemon, lime, yellow pothos here. They're honestly the best beginner plant, the best plant for somebody who doesn't want a plant that requires too much attention. This plant's very forgiving. It can handle any type of light condition. You want bright and direct light, and it can handle low light too. So if you have a north facing window or maybe a south facing window, this will do well. And it's very underrated, I think. Like, I really do think this is a very underrated plant for many reasons. It doesn't look like your traditional cactus, and I'll have so many fun facts about this. So first, let's start with lighting. It can handle moderate to bright indirect lighting um, and also low lighting. The cool thing about this plant is that it blooms flowers in December, um, usually for the entire month, but in order to promote this blooming, this plant has to go an entire month without water and an entire month without light. The best months for that would be the month of October. So in the month of October, you do not water this plant at all. And you also don't, um, you don't have it in contact with light. Basically, don't follow what I'm doing. 12 hours of no light. And in December, in November, it'll start blooming these little, little um, buds. When you see those buds, that's when you start giving it light and start giving it water so that in December it'll bloom. So that's the cool thing about this plant is that it blooms these nice red like flowers, which is why they call it the Christmas cactus. Um, and you only have to repot this plant, I believe, every two to three years. So it doesn't get any better than this. A plant that you don't have to water for an entire month of October no light for the entire month of October and you don't have to repot it until like three years later great plant Christmas cactus but the next plant I would like to talk about is called the Christmas cactus that is this plant here you honestly cannot go wrong with the Christmas cactus this plant you really see a lot around this time of year in the fall or in the winter time because it's a holiday plant. That's why they call it the Christmas cactus. It's very underrated, honestly. It's a plant that you don't really see many people talk about, but you know it exists, so that's why I like it. This plant here requires moderate to bright and direct light. That's the lighting requirements. And watering, you can water it maybe once every two weeks. That's what I do. I water mine once every two weeks. The cool thing about this plant is that it blooms flowers in the month of December. And in order to get these flowers to bloom, you have to go an entire month without watering this plant. So in the month of October, you do not water this plant at all. And you actually, you leave it in light, like dark areas for about 12 hours. Um, that helps promote these little buds that are gonna appear on the end of the plant. When these buds appear, that's when you start introducing the plant to water and introducing it to light. But again, the entire month of October, no water, no light. And then November, you give it water, you give it light so that in December, it blooms. Such a cool plant. And repotting it, you only repot it maybe every two to three years. 
it doesn't get any lazy and busier than this plant here. If you're lazy and you're busy, get yourself a, a Christmas cactus. I just like how it looks too. It looks funky. It's a cool plant. And this is the only plant I have that actually blooms flowers. So if you're not a flowery person, don't worry. It only blooms flowers for one month. Um, and after that, they fall off and it goes back to looking like this. So Christmas cactus, very easy. It's a great plant. My next favorite, plant number three. This is called the ZZ. There's so many varieties of ZZ. The one that I have here is called a ZZ Raven. It has its dark, luscious, color I love it when it gives you a new leaf this new leaf comes out green I just like the color contrast between the dark plant and then <laughs> the new bright green and I, I put it in this black pot because I just like how it looks I just like I just like dark pots clearly but um, yes ZZ Raven so this plant requires a uh, bright indirect light and it can also tolerate some low light just keep in mind that the brighter the light that it gets, you're gonna get bigger leaves and the plant's going to grow faster. And that's honestly with any plant. Not saying that you want it to be in bright, bright light, but the more light it gets, the better the plant. Like mine does not get a lot of light. That's why this green one is like out there just trying to look for, it's, it's reaching for the light. So again, you can water this plant every, I say every two weeks, that's how I water mine as long as it's in a well-drained pot and that's because the plant at the bottom has these bulbs they're called rib ribosomes I believe and they hold water and it's why you don't have to water the plant so often is because it has these ribosomes in the bottom which are holding the water perfect for people who are busy who are away you don't have to water this plant that often really good plant and Again, you would repot it in the growing season. So spring and summer, repot this plant and you'll be good. Every two to three weeks, ZZ Raven. So my next plant is going to be one that you really least expect, but hold up. If you like this video and you like what you're watching, take a break, subscribe, like, comment, and yeah, here we go. Next plant. The next plant that I have is my Monstera. It's huge. People often see this Monstera and they're like, oh, Monsteras are so hard to take care of. They're so big. They're not. They're really not that hard to take care of. You would give this plant bright indirect light and it can do well in an east facing window. I suggest either a west or a south facing window. It can tolerate bright light, not direct, but you can put it in a bright room and it'll do really, really well. It's a wild grower too, but that's because if you give this plant great light, it's going to get big. Mine gets moderate light. That's why my leaves are pretty, pretty average size. So let's talk about this plant. You would water it once a week or every 10 to 12 days. It's very forgiving, so if you don't water it every day, you'll be okay, oh, every week, not every day, every week you'll be fine. Keep in mind, in the summer months, you want to water your plant more. And that's with any of the plants I just talked about. You wanna water plants more in the drier seasons than you do in the more cooler seasons. And when this plant is taken care of, the properly you're going to get bigger leaves with more fenestrations the more sun you get the more fenestrations you get the bigger your leaves are going to be also it's going to give you these like arms and it's going to be a wild plant but that's the beauty of it you would repot this plant in the growing seasons in the spring and in the summer best time to repot a monstera and i just got a new leaf here look at her very cute my plant is not getting the best light, but it's growing. I can I see it growing and it's good enough for me. Until I get a bigger space, that's when I'll worry about getting a bigger, having bigger leaves. But for the space I have, it's giving me what I need and what I want. So good plant for anybody who wants an easy plant to take care of. High five, did good, did good. Good job guys. Honestly, 
I'm not gonna lift this plant. <laughs> so the last plant I'm gonna talk about, I personally don't have. I did at one point, but it wasn't doing it for me. It's called a snake plant. So I'm gonna insert a clip of a snake plant for you. Thanks to my friend Tisha, she sent me a video of hers, which is huge. Hers is really, really tall, and that's because it's getting great light, um, and it's a healthy plant. Snake plants are extremely, extremely easy to take care of. So if you're a person who's busy or lazy and you don't want something too crazy, snake plant, perfect plant for you. The snake plant, you can water once every two weeks honestly i've done that and been okay um you don't have to worry about repotting it until i think it's every two to five years um you don't have to worry about it having bright bright light or or any of that if you get yourself a snake plant it can go in the darkest of the rooms it still has to get light don't get me wrong but it doesn't have to be this bright bright room it can go into a moderate or bright indirect or indirect light so if you have a north facing window it's perfect if you have a south facing window perfect east west all the windows perfect plant for you so i suggest a snake plant to start out with as your first plant any of the plants i talked about is a good plant so again snake plant water it once every two weeks you don't have to repot it into like three four five years and it doesn't have to have this like bright bright room so yes snake plant for everyone so those are just a few plants that anyone who is just lazy or busy can take care of if you like this video please please give it a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment and check out my next video where I talk about the top plants not to get <laughs> if you're a new plant person. Did good. Did good. Good job, guys.